Avoid the net. Understanding idiomatic expressions in English. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore the meaning behind the English phrase, avoid the net. This idiom might sound a bit puzzling at first, especially for those learning English as a second language. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll understand what it means and how to use it in everyday conversations. The phrase, avoid the net, is an idiomatic expression. Idioms are phrases where the words together have a meaning that is different from the dictionary definitions of the individual words. So, when we say, avoid the net, we are not talking about staying away from an actual net. Instead, this phrase is commonly used to advise someone to stay away from online distractions or avoid getting entangled in the complexities of the internet. Understanding the origins of idioms can often help us remember them better. The phrase, avoid the net, likely originated from the digital era, reflecting the challenges of the internet age. It's a metaphorical use of the word, net, likening the internet to a physical net in which one can get caught. This idiom is particularly relevant in contexts where the internet might be a source of distraction or misinformation. To help you grasp this idiom better, let's look at some examples. 1. During exams, I try to avoid the net to focus on studying. 2. It's easy to get lost in online debates, so it's sometimes best to avoid the net. 3. My therapist suggested I avoid the net before bedtime to improve my sleep quality. When using, avoid the net, remember, it's typically used in informal contexts. The phrase can be a friendly advice or a self-reminder. It's often related to productivity or mental well-being. And that's a wrap on the phrase. Avoid the net. We hope this video has illuminated this idiomatic expression for you. Remember, understanding idioms is a big step in mastering the English language. Keep practicing. And don't hesitate to use, avoid the net, in your conversations, especially in this digital age. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.